Welcome back, you degenerate old schoolers, to another episode of The Orb. Uh, tonight's our last four-strip match, um, or Boreal, as some call it. Uh, the good news is the Summer Derby, which I'm currently currently recording, is also Boreal or Four Strip. So there's going to be a fair amount more fucking Four Strip action uh, on this channel. I, I love it because so many games end with almost no permanents in play. I, I think one of the last videos I did, I finished with just one mountain in play, and that's it. Um... Yeah, so tonight my opponent's Taylor. I'm sure the video is going to be fucking awesome, so go find the like button and hit like. Um, and if you haven't, find the subscribe button. Let my wife know that I have uh, somewhere between 12 and 18 dedicated fans. I, I have to leave for vacation before too long, so I'm trying to get a few videos together that they'll still come out in my absence. Um, I, I don't want to let down my small fan base. Um... That being said, as always, enough words. Let's take a look at these decks. And here's a look at Taylor's deck. It's fucking green weenie. Um, he's got eight elves. Four Land of War elves. Four elves of deep shit. Deep shadow. Yeah, close enough. Um, to produce mana. And he's got four script sprites. And four scavenger folk and the pixies. Um, I'm gonna skip over his, we'll call them bigger creatures, the ones that don't have just a one toughness. Um, ice storms for extra mana destruction, crumble to take care of moxen, giant growth to fucking do those quick little, uh, quick little batch of steroids and make a small creature huge, just for a minute. A regrowth. Um, I love the three Maze of Ith. The Maze of Ith are so um, well suited for this deck. It, you can attack with everything and then take out the bad block, let that creature live. Um, two Hurricane, a couple of factories. Can't be bothered with all four Mistress factories, so he only put two in there. I see why. I mean, he, he does need lands uh, that produce green. Uh, Pendle Haven to pump up his, his little bastards he has in there. Um, he's got three of those in there. Of course, the four Strip Mines. And about 11 forests. Uh, the, the four creatures that he have that he has um, above those strip mines, he has two giant slug and two if bith of free. I, I love the if bith. Uh, it reminds me of, um, you know, Kenny Powers. He looks like Kenny Powers. He probably acts like Kenny Powers. I'm sick and tired of carrying all the weight. Uh, the coaches and owners not give me the shit I need to win. Atlanta, you're fucking out. Kenny Powers is now a free agent. Find a bar and get shit-faced, huh? Get me paid, bitch! And that's Kenny Powers. 3-3 uh, three, three flyer. It can hurricane at any given fucking time, but both you and your opponent can set it off for one green mana source. Um, he's dangerous, but not really. I do love it, though. I, and I love the artwork that's on it, too. Mostly because it showed up for the dip later, right? In his sideboard, um, he has a couple Relic Barriers. He has a couple uh, Gaia's Avenger. He has two of them in there. Uh, one plus the amount of artifacts your opponent has is its power and toughness. So your opponent's playing fucking shops and has five artifacts out. Gaia Avenger is going to be a 6-6. Six, six. Um, he's got three Whirling Dervish for those black deck. Uh, decks out there, two Tsunamis. Uh, a couple Tranquilities, three Elvish Archers, which I love, and a fucking Tracker. I love a good old Tracker in there. Uh, we'll take a quick look at my deck. And here's a look at my 75 for the month. Uh, I, I could only afford two Strip Mines, but I also have in there two Armageddons uh, for land destruction. And then I have a bunch of land, uh, the Moxen, a couple of extra Felwar Stones. I want to get to three, four, or five, ideally, um, and play a div, and earn them, or a Sarah Angel down, and try and fucking drop kick that fucking door shut with an Armageddon. Um, I have the good blue cards, the good black cards, some of the good white cards. You know, the spot removal for from white. Um, 
a couple sewing libraries, and in my sideboard, I just have kind of a mixture of what I thought I'd need um, in Boreal or Four Strip. So I am five colors uh, deep in the stack. I went all the way. Uh, I, I think it's kind of greedy, but at the same time, it's got all the good cards kind of jammed together. And I just, you know, went for the best outcome. So this will be our last match with this deck. Uh, off to the games. And here we go with game number one. Taylor uh, is playing on the right. He won the die roll, so he will be playing first. Unfortunately, he lost when it came to good looking hands. So he's going to have to jam one of those back on the bottom of his deck. He does fire down a forest and a quick scrib sprites. Uh, and passes off to me. So I slam dunk down a Loa. That feels good, except for when you're playing fucking four strip, any format with four fucking strip lines. Uh, Loa, I'm sure, will be going by the wayside very, very soon. Scrib Sprites comes poking across the board for one. Uh, Taylor plays a backup Scrib Sprites. A mere 10 turns away from losing from those pesky little 1-1 one -one flyers. Uh, Loa has turned sideways and drawn me a card. Play down a scrubland into a soul ring. Taylor says, fuck that shit. Here's a life. You need one, but your soul ring is gone. So, I go back up to 20. Damage from the Scrub Sprites is undone by the Crumble. That being said, I can't play out another card because I have to stay on the Loa plan. He taps three and says, get that shit out of here. So, uh, get my second card off the Loa, and there it goes straight to the bin. He sticks in for two. I dropped 18. And I mean, look at this. He's got three land in play, two creatures. I only have one land down. Do you find another one? City of Brass. I take a point from the city, go to 17. And time walk. This is how you play extra lands and in, uh, in four strip. You have to fucking time walk. You find a jet? Okay. Still hitting, hitting mana drops and a Felwar Stone. Um, so I am up a few cards. Taylor started off down one. I think he only has one in hand. Yeah. Sends out the strip mine to do some work. And he sinks down the city of brass. I'm sure he wants to deal me damage and let me deal damage to myself, but um, that's actually a really good idea. Oh shit! Fucking ice storm. This is brutal. Uh, so I'm back to just two brown mana sources. Uh, my opponent comes in for two. I'm down to fifteen. Uh, looks like I ripped a land off the top, Savannah. Tap two for a Demonic Tutor. So, I just got to grab my favorite fucking card out of my deck. Uh, feels good when you get to do it. Uh, and I pass the turn off to Taylor. this. I still have six in hand. Oh, he's got another crumble. Yeah, taking me off black. I gained zero life from it. So I'm back down to two mana sources for like the 28th and a half fucking time. And I'm at 13 life. I mean, if he keeps drawing land destruction every turn, I'm kind of fucked. Oh, no, sir. I'll take that back. Uh, throwing down a dib. 3-4 flyer. 
doesn't like to block, but does really well at fucking murdering one ones. And look at this, immediately has an answer. Maze of Ith. What a way to watch me fucking commit suicide <clears throat> with that Maze of Ith. I'm gonna need, uh, need something else out there to deal some damage. Maze of Ith is deadly for the dib. Mostly the fucker that owns the dib, but it's deadly for someone. Another City of Brass and a Chaos Orb. Okay, that's real. And here we go. Alright, uh, I'm using my uh, dib. I'm targeting his maze. Clean hit. Oh yeah, judges from Trinidad and Tobago give it a 9.65. So the maze has been dealt with, uh, Dib is on the offense. I mean the bad news for me is every time this happens, Taylor swings in for two and then I take one from the Dib in my upkeep. And the math doesn't work the greatest on that, so I do need to come up with another threat or I'm going to lose this race. Oh, Taylor not attacking, just passing. I go to 11 in my upkeep from the dib. Oh, he offers a block followed by a giant growth. Oh, and swords to plowshare in response. What a fucking kick to the teeth. Uh, that little scrib sprite is back working the farm. Um, Dib's blocked. Taylor's on 18, but um, that did not go as planned for him. I still have four cards left in hand. He's got one body uh, that's starting to look more and more like a speed bump. Uh, and that's his Scrib Sprite. And so he's got the. Here we go, another elf. I go down to 10. Um,. Dib in again. Yeah, he's on 15. Oh, I go to 9 and earn him. Oh, this feels terrible. Uh, he can't really deal with the earn him. Although the earn him's going to pass out Forest Walk. Um, you know, every turn to one of those little fuckers. Yeah, eight. I go down to eight from the dib. He's still on 15, but um, I got the big bad bodies out here swinging in. Fucking Kenny Powers coming in for three. And Ernum's swinging through the forest looking for his bag bomb. Okay. Take number two with giant growth. Oh, swords to plowshare number two. This is fucking brutality. Uh, he's only gaining one life off that. Goes to 16. He's out of cards. Yeah, he just decides to take the damage uh, from the Urnum. So that puts him on 12. Still has one Elves of Deep Shadow in play. Uh, but I mean, he needs... He needs a White Mana Source and a balance and a way for the Elves of Deep Shadow to pull a gun to its own head and uh, suicide its way out of here. Unfortunately, I don't believe he has those things. Uh, I am down to seven, so I mean, I'm getting dangerously low. Really, a giant growth in Berserk, you know, would end the game in his favor. Uh, but he does put a body in front of the Urnum. He takes three from the Dib and goes down to nine. 
Oh shit, I'm going down to six by tapping my City of Brass. Oh, Armageddon. This is this is the door getting kicked shut. Yep. Um, everything in the graveyard. He does find a factory. I think it's going to be too little too late. Yeah, I come in for seven. He's on nine. Down to two he goes, but look at this. I only have five fucking life, so... I know there's not a whole lot he could do. Oh, strip mine. Comes in for two. Go down to three. Oh, damn it, he had it. Giant growth. Wow. Um, one more forest, he would have had the game. But unfortunately, my um, big ugly creatures came in for the win. Off to game number two. And here we go with game number two. Uh, Dib and Ernum both picked up lead pipes and took Taylor out back and beat the living tar out of him. Uh, it was a very close game, but um, the Dib and Ernum took it over. So Taylor launches a forest into play sideways with a lawnmower elf. Um, classic land of war elf. Oh, son of a bitch. Two games in a row with a Loa. Uh, how lucky am I? That shit never shows up when we're on single strip formats. I will take it. Um, Lanamore Elf in for one. He does have a factory in play. And uh, Low is turning sideways, already doing some lifting for me. Again, I don't think it's going to last long at the table, but um, I will absolutely take every card I can get. I fire down a Tundra and a Jet, and Taylor's got an immediate crumble for that Jet and says, Get that shit out of here. So he, he wants to keep me from ramping into anything just like last game. Looks like I'm drawing with my Loa. Yeah, he's coming in for three. I do have a Swords to Plowshares for his factory. He gets two life. I take one to the face and go down to 18. And he gets a Maze of Ith out also. So again, Maze. Um, maze is a problem for my creatures. I don't have a ton of creatures in my deck anyways. I only have 11. Find a volcanic and pass. Oh, Taylor's got a strip mine. Oh, look at this. He goes after the volcanic. Um, wants to take me off colored mana sources. But that damn Loa... Uh, with all that card advantage, it's tough. And he's only coming in for one a turn. So I'm down to 17. He's on 22. I do find a factory. And I discard a dib. Seems ballsy. Okay, he's got a scavenger, folks, so that's an answer to my factory. If he needs it. And look at this, another Maze of Ith. Um, yeah. But 
uh, Loa going sideways can answer most of that shit at some point. Do you find another mana source? Uh, hit a savannah. Tapping three, so there's a dib. But again, I do have two Maze of Ith to deal with. Um, Taylor Fire fires down another elf. Elves of Deep Shadow. And Loa Plan is still a go. So I go down to 16. Uh, the trade-off with this dib is now he's on blocking duty. Oh, mind twist for three. That's all of them. Hurricane Giant Growth Crumble. Oh, that feels like a big kick to the dick. Ouch. Um, yeah. I'm so far ahead on card advantage. This one's getting kind of tough. Look at this though. Let's turn his creature sideways. And yeah, I'm gonna undo the one I block with the dip. So I still take two. And by the time my upkeep shows back up, I'm gonna take three, right? I'm on 14, now I'm going to 13. So with those mazes, I mean, I gotta come up with some answers. Stop the bleeding. Dib in, dib undone. Oh, tapping five, Sarah Angel. What a fucking nightmare for any weenie deck. Um, that's a big bad bitch. She is flying in with a broadsword. I just wielding it mostly around the facial area. Um, maybe some neck and crotch movements too. Yeah, she's just gonna beat the living tar out of anyone with that 4 4 sword. So Taylor did find a, a scavenger folk. Oh, this is just insult to injury. I am adding a spirit link uh, to my 4-4 flyer. It doesn't have to tap to attack. Oh, fucking kicking the door shut again with Armageddon. Um... So, I was nice enough to destroy my own Loa. Taylor didn't have to do it for me. I tap one. Holy shit balls! Look at this fucking shit. You're kidding! Judge, judge. Ah! Yeah, insult to injury. Fucking tables will be flipped. Time walk was played, followed by Dibbin for three. Uh... Second upkeep of turn number two for me. I go to 15. My opponent's on 15. I mean, the life totals are even, but this game is is, is toast. I come flying in for seven. I gain fucking four life. It's now 19 to eight. Taylor draws his card. Um, he's contemplating life. I have two blue up, but it probably doesn't mean anything. I wonder if he found a giant growth. Nope, 
He's turned them all sideways. They kill a scavenger folk and take three. Go to 16. Tropical Island, Sylvan Library. Back in again for another seven. So Taylor's down to one, I'm back up to 19. Scrib Sprites, that's a body. And Atlanta War Elf, so I'm gonna get in for that last one. Brutality. Uh, five color, Earn him Geddon. Takes it 2 0 against Mono Green. As always, thanks for watching the orb.